This here is a screenshot of the Khan Academy unit circle module. And the whole point here is to get you familiar with the unit circle definition of trig functions, which is just an extension of the traditional Soka Toa definition. But the reason why math, the math world did this is so that we can define the sine and cosines of angles that are 90 degrees or more, or that have actual negative angle measures. So let's figure out what the sine of 275 degrees is. So we have this dot that's sitting on a unit circle. It has a circle of radius 1. And let's get this dot to 275 degrees. Let's make an angle of 275 degrees with the positive x-axis. So let's see, that's 50 degrees, 75 degrees, 90 degrees. You see the angle measure right over there. So 90 degrees, 180 gets us halfway around. 270 gets us 3 fourths of the way around. So 275 is a little bit more than that. And we need to figure out the sine of 275 degrees. The unit circle definition is that the sine of sine is that it's the y value of that angle measure on the unit circle. So we've made the angle measure. We've gone 275 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis to get to this point right over here. And the y value is this negative 0.996. That is the sine of 275 degrees. Negative 0.996. If they had asked for the cosine, then we would give the x value of this point, of this dot right over here. So the y value is negative 0.996. Let's check our answer. Very good. Let's do another one. And we get, let's see, sine of negative 55 degrees. So now we're going to go below the x axis. It's a negative angle, negative 55 degrees. And it's sine once again. So we want to look at the x, sorry, the y coordinate of this point. So where the y coordinate is negative 0.819. Negative 0.819. Check our answer. Very good. Let's keep doing it. Maybe we'll see a cosine soon enough. Sine of 285 degrees. So 285 degrees, we're looking right over there. The sine is the y value, negative 0.966. Let's check our answer. Let's do another one. Sign again, 2 thirds pi. So now it's in radians. We don't see that little degree sign. So 2 thirds pi. Let's see, 2, 2 thirds pi is right over here. That's the angle in radians relative to the positive x axis going in the counterclockwise direction. We care about the sign, which is the y value of our point sitting on the unit circle 0 0.866. 0 0.866. And one thing that Bears mention is the exact is square root of 3 over 2. And square root of 3 over 2, if you were to write as a decimal, would just continue on forever without actually repeating. This is just an approximation. For the sake of this module, we really just want to make you comfortable with the unit circle and maybe using this tool. So you really should just type in this approximate number. You don't have to do the exact number of what square root of 3 over 2 is. This is it rounded to the nearest thousandth. So 0 0.866. Let's check our answer. Let's do another one. Sign again, sign of 15 degrees. So 15 degrees, 0 0.259. I'm going to keep doing this until I get a cosine. So let's do it again. Cosine, very good. 2 pi, 2 pi radians. Well, 2 pi is completely going around the unit circle once. So let's go all the way around, and we see that we get back to where we were before. We've gone around 2 pi radians. We're back to where we were before. The cosine is the x value of that point. So the x value of that point is 1. The x value of that point is 1. If we wanted the sine of 2 pi, then we would get 0, because we, we have no y value right over here. We're at the x-axis. Let's check our answer. Let's do one more. Maybe we'll see another cosine. There we go, another cosine. Cosine of 1 12th pi. So that's just going to be a little, let's see, 1 35th, 1 18th, 1 12th. Cosine, we want the x value, not the y value. The x value is 0 0.966. So 0 0.966. Check our answer, and we are done.